And then that's when the agent picked up the call and she's like, are you serious? This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. What's up, mortgage coach and trust engine community? I am super pumped about this interview. It's my first time interviewing Shay Jenkins out of downtown Denver, Colorado. What's up, Shay? What's up? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We were having a little prep call, um, and I think we're going to need to do a longer interview to hear about how Shay got into the mortgage business and and uh, mortgage stories. There could be a whole TV show on that. It's, like, it's, it's a fun one. It's a fun one. It's pretty uh, it's pretty rare, my story about getting in. So I'll be excited to share that soon, too. Okay. Well, that, that'll, that'll be next. Yeah. Uh, so, so Shay has recently become a mortgage coach. I mean, it's been about a year. Mm -hmm. uh, she is a on a team, or part of a team. You've got a, a team partner, and then mm -hmm. you have one. Uh, I would actually teacher. have two two LOAs, two loan officer assistants, um, but one that is my mortgage coach guru. <laughs> Good, yeah. 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 Well, so by the way, just tell everybody a little bit about your mortgage practice, and then we'll get into how you have upgraded your, your mortgage experience. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, so long story short, um, I'll make this very quick. You know, I was in a job that I absolutely hated my best friend roommate from college. Um, she was a, a mortgage assistant and she, you know, we had a couple glasses of wine one night and she's like, and by a couple, I mean like a couple too many, a couple, a couple too many. And, um, you know, she's like the next day, if you're serious, you go start your classes and get in there. And that's exactly what I did. Next day I did my classes. Um, I got licensed somehow and, um, nobody wanted to hire me because I was brand new. So I was able to get under a Spanish speaking loan officer and I do not speak Spanish. So I literally learned mortgages through Google translate. Um, yeah, started under a pretty heavy, heady, uh, heavy hitter um, LO, and I was her assistant for about four and a half years. And then my best friend that got me into it, she was working at a big bank, um, and I was an assistant. And then we had one too many glasses of wine again, and we're like, okay, why don't we just throw in the towel? You walk away from the big bank, I'll walk away from being an assistant. So we started um, together about two years ago. It's called SNS Mortgage Team. Um, we found our home at New American Funding, and then within two months, we were doing enough volume to hire an assistant, and then about four months later, we hired another assistant, and here we are today, two years later, happy. Yeah, President's Club, 53 million in production last year, yeah. uh, killing it. And by the way, that is great production. Um, first of all, in any market, that's great production. But, you know, 2022 was brutal and to, you know, have broken over 50 million is an incredible accomplishment. It sounds like uh, that's the goal for this year as well. Yes, yes, it is. It is. And this year is tough. You know, I'm not going to lie. Of course, I'm going to I'm keeping it positive. Um, but, you know, with all the brokers out there and other things, I mean, it's very competitive. Yeah. So so now you have upgraded your borrower experience with Mortgage Coach. Uh, I guess let's let's talk about why you did that. Let's talk about how you did that. And then let's talk about what are the, you know, how are you using it in this market to win business? Yeah, absolutely. So how I got into it, I mean, I've heard about Mortgage Coach. Everybody's heard about Mortgage Coach, but you you always get bombarded by the new latest and greatest mortgage tool that's going to change your life and change your experience, right? Um, but when Marjorie, our assistant started with us a little over a year ago, um, she had come from another heavy hitter LO and, uh, she was using mortgage coach for them. And I was just overwhelmed with all the work that I needed to do. And she's just, and I was like, I don't want to learn mortgage coach, blah, 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 blah. She's like, I will do it for you. Let me set it up for you. Cause she's the mortgage coach guru. She could do anything and everything with it. Um, Marjorie's like we need to get Marjorie and you on a call one of these days. Yes, like she, I can be like, give me seven scenarios on one house, and she'll be like, do, 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 do. and like seven minutes later, it's done and it's perfect. So, um, yeah, it's really cool. So I was just like, okay, fine, Marge, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. And the first mortgage coach, I was so nervous to do a video, but like, you know, who cares? But I was like, oh my gosh, is my hair okay? 
Um, but I just went through it and I did a video and I sent it out to one client and it was a very competitive client and they had called me right away and they're like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing I've ever done there or I've ever seen. They're like, thank you for spending so much time on this for me. Like, I don't even know how long this would have taken you. And I'm like, it took her three minutes, but I never said that. And you're like, you didn't say that, did you? No, no, absolutely (laughs) not. And they're like, I feel they, they even said like, I feel like this is a gift. Like you just gave me this gift. And I was like, great. And I was like, you know, if you have a different house with different numbers, I could send you the next thing, like the, the very same thing, but for that specific house. Hey, I got a good idea. How about we stop doing the same old thing and hoping for different results? How about we incorporate an intelligence platform, which by the way, isn't something that you should do just because it's our platform. It's something that the rest of the world has been doing for decades in other industries. This industry is just catching up. Other industries have already figured out that they need to truly understand their customers, truly, and not have to guess what they need from them, but know with certainty what they need for them. So if you're fighting for speed to lead, you're already losing. It's time to fight for speed to need. How do you get to your borrower's needs before they become a lead? Because they've raised their hand and everyone in the market's going after them. Speed to need is the fastest way to make sure you box out your competitors and offer extreme value to your customers. You wanna know what that's about? Schedule a quick discovery call with one of our matchmakers. Our matchmakers within 15 minutes will figure out if there's value between our two companies and you can say yes or you can say no, either is fine. Don't sit back and and hope something changes. Make the change. Stop fighting for leads. Get in front of the needs for your borrowers. We'll see you on the call. And I was like, you know, if you have a different house with different numbers, I could send you the next thing, like the the very same thing, but for that specific house. And they're like, no way you would do that. And I'm like, yeah, I would. And so after that call, and then they ended up choosing us as a lender, which was awesome. Cause they're like, you're just so personable and you did all these things for us. Um, and then ever since then, I have never not done a mortgage coach for somebody. Cause I always used to just get an encompass. That's what we use. Um, and I would just pull a regular, you know, like fee sheet. And no matter how well you try to explain a fee sheet in an email, people who have never bought before or just forgot, they're like, what? what am I looking at? You know, like they have no idea. So mortgage coach, you know, you could click on things and highlight things and you have your video and your little face, you know, around. So, I mean, it's, a, it's been a game, game changer for me. So I hope everybody heard that. Cause I think that is, that is the magic of sales. And when I founded mortgage coach, I was trying to turn, you know, my quote, my pre-approval into something of value. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so the client actually said, it's like a gift. Like, like they feel like this is a gift. I guess that is the magic of selling. When you can, you know, have a conversation with someone and then deliver something to them mm-hmm. that they're like, wow, this is, this yeah. is what I pay money for. This is tangible value. Yeah. And uh, they're like, you made this just for me? And I was like, yeah, I did. And it does look like so much time and effort goes into it. But if you know what you're doing, AKA Marge, not me, um, you can get it done so easily, but it looks like, you know, you've been working on a PowerPoint presentation for the whole night, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. pretty and, neat. And I can tell anyone listening to this, you know, you, anyone and everyone can create a mortgage coach report in less than five minutes. Right. Uh, you work for a company that has it integrated into your pricing engine. Uh, yeah. So it makes it even easier. Uh, but it guys, it just does not take a long time. So let's, let's focus on, first of all, what percentage of your clients do you feel like they feel like they got a gift. Is it like resonate like that with a lot of folks? What are it, some other- it really does. I mean, I will get, let's just say out of 10 mortgage coaches I send, I'll probably get three actual phone calls of people saying, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like, thank you so much. And for the other seven, I always get a response via email and I always CC the agent too, which is huge, right? But I'll I'll always get a response from either the buyer and or the agent saying how amazing this was, how grateful they were that they sent it, um, they love it, and they never have any questions on what they're looking at because you have that video that actually guides them through it step by step. So I've never not really had anybody not respond 
and say, wow, this is amazing. You answered all my questions. Thank you. Love that. And yeah. that, that's, that is what time it is in the world. Uh, we got to win with next gen buyers. By the way, what percentage of your customers are first time buyers versus move up buyers? In this yeah. Market? So since Sarah, that's my business partner and I, since we're pretty new in the game, well, together, starting together, I would say first time home buyers, probably about 60 to 65% are first time. So more, more than 50%. Yes, 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 yes. For sure. sure. I love that. Yeah. And uh, and do you do the rent versus own sometimes or um, you know, how often do you do that particular TCA? I, I really do just the TCA more than anything. Um, I should. So now you're making me feel bad. So I should start feel to do bad. that. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> no, but. Uh, all what you're doing and how you're doing it. Not, you yeah. Know. I, I mean, I've done it two or three times um, in the past year, but usually once I talk to people off of a first conversation, even if rates are high, like it is in this market, I still explain why it is so important to buy versus rent just verbally. And I think I explained that pretty well, but it would be great if I could actually put it on a presentation for them as well to really see like, this is what you're giving somebody else. And this is what is going in, in, into your asset. I'm going to, I'm going to forward you an interview I did with a loan officer, Denver, Colorado guy, first year okay. on the market. And it was, it was all about how he, there was a fence sitting first time home buyer who said, Oh, I'm going to wait till next year. And then he put together a TCA and he calls it a house hack because it was like, Hey, you could rent out two of your bedrooms for 625. And now look what that would do to your net worth in five years. Yeah. And the first time home buyer is like, Oh, I'll take the 6% rate. Right, right. Like, yep. but, but they were like, they were like, oh, 6%, I'm going to wait. Yeah. Until we saw the, you know, the, the net worth over three years. Yeah. So, so cool. It, um, so let's talk, you mentioned that you um, loop in the realtor. So <laughs> I really want to encompass, hey, how Shay Jenkins has upgraded her experience. Um, by the way, you said you put a video on it. What percentage of time do you put a video on it? When I shower, <laughs> no, usually I put a video on it, honestly, every time because oh, wow. I, mean, More than I, I don't, I, right. I, I, I work with a lot of out-of-state buyers and my buyers are usually younger and they don't need that face. Like they don't ever come in, but I think face-to-face -face somehow interaction is good. So I really try to do that every single time. And they're like, oh, that's, that's what you look like, you know? Yeah. So, so it helps, but a, a story, and this is why I loop agents in on this is because about, I never used to loop the agents in on it, but I would say about eight months ago, I started to, because why not? It's a cool tool and it offers value. We're all loan officers, you know, we have the same soup, right? It's just kind of what ingredients you put in it. Um, so I was going after this huge, 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 one of the top agents in Denver. And I had been trying for, since I was an assistant, I had been trying to get this person. And finally the poor girl gave me like, you know, gave me a break and was like, Lord, like, here you go, take this one lead. Um, and I took the lead and I did a mortgage coach and I was just like, you know what, why not? I'm going to CC the agent on here. And then that's when the agent picked up the call and she's like, are you serious? This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And I'm like, what mortgage coach? And I was like, you're the top agent. You've never seen this before. And she's like, absolutely not. She's like, this is amazing. She's like, would you be able to do this with all my buyers? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, that's so cool. And again, in her head, I think she was thinking I'm up all night creating this massive presentation with all these numbers and graphs. And, um, she, I got her business and she's one of my top agents now. Boom. Well, yeah. by, by the way, Shay, you are not a loan officer. You <laughs> are a mortgage coach. There you uh, go. It, yeah. There you go. And, which is a lot more valuable than a loan officer. I mean, loan officers quote rates, give fee worksheets. Here's your rate. Here's your payment. Here's your cash to close. You're delivering a lot more value to the consumer than a I agree. loan officer. Yeah. So, so tell us, um, walk us through a TCA, like pull up a sure. example of one of your mortgage coaches and, you know, cause it sounds like that's what you do. You have a team member that preps it, gets it ready. Mm -hmm. And wait, before you do that, click on settings real quick in the upper right hand corner there. Click on settings. Settings, upper right hand, it says more. Go to the right, upper right. No, down in the actual mortgage. Oh, <laughs> okay. So check that out. 
you know, you you have created um, a bunch of videos, bunch of TCAs. Uh, I'm trying to see. You've done 16 rep versus own, so you know a little more than you thought. Okay, okay, good to right, know. Good cool. to know. Well, go ahead and show me what you got. Okay. Um, Let me show me. So again, I am. Marge is the mortgage coach expert. So she's the one that breaks it down and puts it all together with me. She wants me to learn. She says it's the easiest thing, but I'm just going to stick to recording videos and what I know. Um, yeah. so, so here's one that I did yesterday. Um, and let's see here. I also love always getting to see how different people, um, you know, Use mortgage coach. So where am I? How do I get to my actual? Sorry. The, um, click on preview highlight in the upper right hand corner. Uh, Does she put the links oh. in like an email for you, or how do you when you do? She usually video? puts the links in an email for me, and I just click on it, do it. Yeah, there um, you go. Okay, so this is one I did for first time home buyers yesterday or the day before. No, I think it was yesterday. Um, they are great clients, but they have a ton of questions. So over the weekend, they literally sent 20 houses um, of what they wanted, what they wanted to buy. And I'm like, okay, guys, let's narrow it down to the top five. Um, these were their top three. I'm only showing you one home, but Marjorie did one different presentation because we're doing three oh. options on, on all the specific homes. Um, so do you just kind of want me to walk through okay, tell me how you would walk what it looks like? Okay. This. Cause I don't know where my video went on here. Um, but I always start off by recording, saying my name, you know, congratulating them for being pre-approved Look out! I always get them very excited first. Yeah. Um, but these clients, uh, they actually do have different, they have a lot of money in the bank that they can play around with, which is really nice. And then all the loan officers that are listening on here, they're going to know about the new LLPAs that came out, which is a loan level pricing adjustments, meaning rates can technically get better the less you put down. Um, blows my mind. But so I really wanted to show them the difference between the 20%, 14.99% and a 10% option. So I really go through starting with the purchase price, the loan amount, and you could actually see with the interest rate here, how the interest rate actually goes down with the less money they put down. So telling somebody this over the phone is actually extremely hard to do because they're like, wait, what? So that's why I really wanted to do this is like, yes, you could see with the 20% down, your rate is seven and a quarter. And then you could see with 10% down, your rate is 6.99. Um, and I really like the highlighting tool on here because when you're talking on a video, they actually see you in real motion, highlighting certain things that you're talking about. Um, and then of course, as we know, it breaks down the, the payment and it breaks down the cash to close. And then I always tell them now that's great, but let's go into more detail as to why. Um, so in the upper right-hand corner, I always tell them to click on the more info. I'll talk to them about property taxes. I'll talk to them about homeowners insurance. So something this, you know, this is something they could shop around for. And then I go into mortgage insurance and um, I kind of, I try to guide them in what um, scenario is going to be best for them. But obviously, as you can see with 20% down, you don't have any mortgage insurance. Yes, you have a worse rate, but you don't have any mortgage insurance. And I show them the difference with every single option here and really how we have um, broken down their total mortgage payment. And this is the part I feel that seems to like, blow their mind the most. Um, and then we always, of course, we'll go into closing costs. Um, we'll go into, so they can see everything here in closing costs. And then like, now let's get even more into it. And I pull up the fee detail. And what is really important that I like to show on this screen is we are all very competitive, right? Um, obviously we sell ourselves, we sell our products and we sell our brand and what we have. Um, but it's, you know, it's 2023 and anybody and everybody is told to shop rates, right? So we, I always come out and I'm going to say, I'm going to price you at your rate today. What, what today is, you know, May 23rd. And I was like, you can get a, a loan estimate from any loan officer um, 
and your rate could be a six and a half. And they're like, well, I got one for six and a half. And I'm like, no, you didn't send me your loan, you know, your loan estimate. And then I pointed out to them where their fees are and what they're getting charged. So in this screen, I like to go into detail when we kind of scroll to the bottom and in this bottom left-hand corner, I could, I could say, so you see, like you are not, I am not charging you any points here. So if you want me to charge you points to get to that six and a half, I can definitely do that. And then we can really break down the loan estimates more and more. Um, and then they look at their loan estimate and they see that they're being charged points. And then they feel like, you know, the trust wasn't there that they were being lied to in some retrospect. And a lot of the times then they'll come to me because they trust me. And it's because of this page right here. So um, that's why I usually try to go into to depth as much as I can. Um, I do try to keep my videos to about five minutes max, um, just because it does, it can get a little tricky for people who've never seen it before. Um, but I always just say, you know, let me know if you have any questions and we could do a deeper dive into this, but. I love it, Shay. So you, <laughs> uh, I love the way you walk through it. I love, it's all about options. Do you ever do where you show an option? What if rates go down? So it's like, hey, this is what's gonna cost you to buy the house now. Absolutely. option three or four is what your payment will be at four and a half or whatever they think rates you know it's kind of like date the rate marry the house mm -hmm. yep absolutely so if they wanted that option i go to marge of course and i'm like marge can you tell me how much it's going to cost to get down to a five and a half 30 seconds later she'll send me the link and she'll be like okay go <laughs> well so. and, and i'm more talking like you could show that they could refinance when rates go to five and a half percent Oh, um, yes. Oh, make it a whole nother presentation for that. Or just make another column. So yeah, absolutely. like, you know, for like a fence sitter that's just like, oh, I don't know, rates are so high now. You know, um, you could just add a fourth column or let's say you had two, um, you could show one at a lower rate. There, stop sharing your screen real quick. I want to show you one thing. I, I interviewed um, this loan officer, um, Mark Bowie, um, last week. And uh uh, he's going to do about 50 million this year. One of the cool things about Mark, and I did this interview around how he's using mortgage coach to generate leads because he's, he's built up a pretty nice little Instagram following and it's got about 73,000 followers. Wow. It's closing like three loans next month. And, and he's creating actual social media content and he's, you know, he's integrating mortgage coach into it. So it's pretty, pretty slick, wow. but the reason I wanted to show you this, because this is one thing you didn't do, mm -hmm. is when you do down payment options, you can say, hey, like 20% down um, versus 5% down. With 5%, if you kept that money in the bank, you see this? It's showing your total net worth. And that's one thing you didn't you didn't show, but it will show the impact. Look, look at your net worth on the 5% versus 25%. You know, so it's actually over a hundred thousand dollars in net worth. I'm literally writing this down as we speak. Over ten years. Okay. So, whenever, whenever, um, I recommend that when you do down payment options, you show people the power of that money staying in control. Like, hey, here's twenty percent, but fifteen percent at, and and again, I usually ask the customer for their percent, but nowadays, even you know, treasury bills are for you know, 4.3%. So whether you put in 4% or 8%, you're you're helping the consumer make an informed decision. Do they put more down or less down? Does that make sense to you? Yeah. So that's what you usually do is the net worth in 10 years. Um, I think that the net worth is a, depends on the goal of the client. You know, like if it's someone that's like, hey, I'm buying this and I want to move up. Well, then maybe five years is right. If it's like, hey, this is my forever home, then you know, 10 years might be the, the, the shortest period. Maybe it's 15 or 20. Um, but yeah, yeah, to me, it's all about tailoring for the consumer's goals. And then it's all about providing transparency and clarity to help them make an informed choice. So uh, Absolutely. I'll, I'll forward you my interview with Mark. You might want to check please, it out. Yeah, please do. Please do. And then I got to forward it to Marge and be like, you've been steering me wrong. <laughs> no, Marge is killing it. Um, you know, there's there's always new next level moves. Uh, you know, like, like I'll show my screen one more time because, you know, one, 
I want to interview you again. And it's always showing kind of like next level stuff. But like, um, well, if my screen's going to work for me here, I've, I'm working out of a, a hotel. So my, uh, my internet's not great. Oh, that's a cool looking hotel in the background you got there. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm staying at the W in Bellevue. If anybody's ever in Bellevue, this is this place is legit. Uh, but but this is that one where I told you the the house hacking, where this first year loan officer said, "Oh, you can rent out two bedrooms for six twenty five. What if you took that um, equity and invested it? What would be your net worth?" And Mortgage Coach shows that in a rent versus own analysis. And now this first time home buyer is like, "Hey, I'm off the fence." I'm into escrow. This is a, that's great. That is very cool. Okay. So anything else you like about mortgage coach or anything else it's doing that's helping you win in this market? Cause you know, you have really exceptional uh, customer satisfaction scores at experience.com. Uh, anything else that you think mortgage coach is helping you with? I mean, just like the, the number one things is, a video face-to-face -face interaction, right? I mean, not face-to-face, -face, but they could see your face, getting the agent involved, getting the buyers involved bigger. Um, it helps answer, it, it, it saves me time because, you know, we could get leads, like I have two leads I need to call now, but it's like, instead of spending 30 minutes on the phone with a client, which is fine with a lot of questions, if you just, do a quick five minute video like this and send it to them first, that is going to save you so much time on the telephone with cutting down all these questions where it's really just laid out. So it's a, it's, it's a huge, huge, huge time saver. And then like how you said, um, I have really high customer satisfaction scores, but I think this is one of the biggest reasons as to why um, because again, they think that you've spent so, so, so much time putting this together for them. You, it makes you look like you've gone above and beyond, which we do, right? We always do try to go above and beyond. Um, but just the whole experience from start to finish helps. And it's, it's so funny because whenever I send out a mortgage coach, I try to do it before they go out looking, um, again, to minimize all the questions that are coming in. But throughout the whole process, whenever they go back and they click on that mortgage coach link, it sends me an email and it lets me know that they're viewing it. So like in my head, I'm like, oh, I bet they have questions or I bet they want to see what's going on. And I'll shoot a quick text or email or a quick phone call. And I'll be like, hey, you guys, and, you know, I'm just thinking about you. And they're like, that's crazy. We were looking at this and we had a question on this. So if they ever start wanting to shop other lenders for any reason or if they have questions, it's when you see that email come through, check in on them. And it's just another, it's just another touch that keeps you really close to the buyers. Yeah, no, another real varsity move that you're doing. And for everyone listening to this, that's, you know, when, when a consumer clicks on the mortgage coach link from whatever device they're using, you're, you know about it. And mm -hmm. from a, I, you know, what we, we, we have this um, saying at Trust Engine called speed to need beats speed to lead. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody in business knows, hey, like be the first one to the lead matters. But being the first one to the need matters more. And, and so when, you, when you're a mortgage coach and you're delivering this advice, you're getting to the needs of the consumer, whereas typical loan officers that are quoting rates and fees, you're not getting to the needs of the consumer. And then, and then you know, when they're clicking on it, that's when their headspace is in the game. Yep. And it helps you, helps you be when at the right When the they're right excited, time. when they're nervous, you know, you never yeah. know. When they're right. shopping you. you yep, know? right. You never know what brought you back to click on that. Right. So checking in is is huge because if they have a question, I want them to call me speed instead of like calling they're, anybody they're, else. Yeah, they're thinking about it and you can be there. Speed to need it beats speed to lead, guys. Um, all right, Shay. Well, first of all, this has been an awesome first interview. I definitely want to do a full top producer interview with you one of these days if you're game with that. Absolutely. Yeah. We got to get margin here too, for sure. Okay. Yeah, no, we'll bring margin. We'll bring your, what, what's your partner's name? Uh, Sarah Alberts. Sarah. So um, Sarah Alberts. Maybe, maybe you and Sarah, we'll figure that out. I'm going to be, um, is it tomorrow? I think tomorrow I'm interviewing Tony. Um, or I don't know if it's next week. Anyways, Tony and I are doing a webinar 
for the um, with experience.com. So I'll have Tony on here one of these. I think it's tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And that's huge because experience.com, then that goes under Google and personal and all this. So that's a huge, huge tool too, for sure. Yeah, and I forgot to call that out when Shay showed her TCA in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, there was the experience integration. So Shay, thank you for your time today. Thank you for this yeah, first time. Thank I, you. This was got fun. a lot of good value out of it. Yeah. And uh, everyone watch this, if you have not already, you know, subscribe to the Mortgage Coach YouTube channel, do that now so that you know when you, when we put up new videos and hopefully you got value today. Take care, everybody. Bye. Thank you.